day 28 of our summer road trip. And today we're headed to Grand Falls, New Brunswick, and then crossing over the border into Quebec. Today we drove to St. Stephen's, then north to Grand Falls, New Brunswick, and finally crossed into Quebec. First, we went to the Ganong Chocolate Museum. Introductory to the Morner Festival. At the Chocolate Museum in St. Stephen's, and we're trying to make some chocolate here. They're grinding up the little chocolate nibs that come out of the cacao pod. Aztecs used to use cocoa beans as money, which is where the saying, money grows on trees, comes from. We got to try lots of samples during the museum tour. We're in the Chocolate Museum and we're looking at the heart-shaped boxes. Ganong was the originator of the heart-shaped Valentine boxes. Can see which one is your favorite? My favorite is that one because I like that it's red and it has the cute little bow. Oh yeah, bow. it has a little bow. Declan, which one is your favorite? My favorite is this one because it's like a little game. Like a little spinner game. After the tour, we went to the store and bought some special hand-dipped chocolates. Make sure to check out our full-length video to see all that we did at the Chocolate Factory. Next, we drove three hours to Grand Falls, New Brunswick. On the way, we stopped at the Covered Bridge Factory Tours. We're at the Covered Bridge Potato Chip Factory in Heartland, New Brunswick, where they have the world's longest covered bridge. And we paid for this factory tour. However, it's like a couple of windows into the factory and a bunch of signs uh, talking about potatoes. So, not super interesting, but here this machine is like, I don't know, churning up the potato chips. The bagging machine, you can see the bags are on the roll and then it must go in and get like cut and filled. Oh, you can see farther down, it looks like they're getting put into the bag shape and then they'll be filled. And there's a different one for each flavor. There is a live tour, but there are so many people, it's really hard to follow along. The biggest part of the factory tour is um, where you can buy all the chips. La Famille Robinson give this tour a zero stars. While we were driving, we saw a bunch of windmills lined up along the mountains. Next, we stopped at the Waterfalls and Gorge in Grand Falls, New Brunswick. Next, we did some zip lining over the waterfalls. We went on two different zip lines, each over top of the gorge. We're at Grand Falls in New Brunswick, and we're about to do the zip line across the gorge. There's a couple different platforms. Here's the first one. Going on the first zip line. get started it's pretty fun this was so much fun we wanted to do it again but it's too expensive when I got to the end I said it wasn't scary so the instructor let me hang over the waterfalls selfie break when the dam is completely open these waterfalls resemble Niagara Falls but today the dam was mostly closed so there wasn't actually a lot of water we're at Grand Falls New Brunswick and this is the other side of the gorge. We zip lined on the waterfall side more. This is just where the river goes, but it's absolutely stunning. Soon we drove and crossed over the border into Quebec. Thanks for joining us as we finish New Brunswick. See you tomorrow on our next adventure in Quebec.